Daniel Mugunga is a carpenter and timber dealer in Indeba with 18 years of experience in this area. And it brings to light that there exist standards even in the area of timber. For me, I started the carpentry in 1984. We used it to have timber in the exercises. But in these days, regardless of carpentry, we have so many substandard materials on the market. And if you, we see the competitors we have, for them, they are after production and getting money. So there exist substandards, even in timber, starting with the sort of doors or windows you will install in a house you are building, which problem can degenerate to a scenario that could actually get you injured or even killed. But as per now, you can find on the market when you get timber of which is not on standard. One day, one time I was moving in around the Chiwatri. People had started cutting Chirundu into 3x2. Three 3x2, by two. Three by two, it is used when you are roofing. But I understand after two months, you will find out that the, the roof cannot exist. Chirundu is soft wood, only used for temporary works and cannot roof. Apparently, standards for timber exist. UNBS does not have the capacity, both in terms of financial resources and also in terms of manpower, to be able to enforce, to do the enforcement adequately. That explains the challenge that the Bureau of Standards faces, even though they could have scored on one front, because the UNBS amendment bill passed by parliament recently empowers them to act now more than ever. If you are violating any of my standards, and I take you to court, suppose you are producing water, for example, because everybody knows what, and I take it to court. It will be 10 million shillings or two years in jail. Originally, it was only 50,000 shillings and six months in jail. Now the UNBS has powers to close down premises associated with substandard goods. In this bottle, there is water instead of jig, and in this tin, there is some sort of brittle material that's packed like shoe polish. The new amended UNBS law is supposed to bite hard against this, and now the back is with the National Bill of Standards to bite. Samo Setumba, NTV, Business.